professor, physician, epidemiologist. I am Dr. Sri Banerjee. Hello, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, and in this segment, what I'm going to go over is the effect size of one-way ANOVA. Uh, so for starters, um, the effect size is known as eta squared. And when I teach this uh, in a course to students, um, a lot of times they have uh, difficulty in understanding and grasping uh, the concept of eta squared and what exactly this means. Uh, so going to this um, worksheet here, again, I wanted to start off by saying that the effect size for one way ANOVA is eta squared. And then I go through the calculation and show where it is in SPSS. So eta squared is the proportion of variance associated with one or more main effects, errors or interactions in ANOVA. So as you can see, um, the effect um, is uh, the proportion of the effect is um, calculated from the total um, and the way you can find this is um, by looking at the output um, and one of the um, output that shows up is between groups um, divided by within groups um, and that's the f statistic and so there, there is an example of um, 4.08 um, anxiety and then total um, SS, which is 62.29. Uh, and if you look here, so as you can, so let's take a look at another example, and then total is 62.29, and that's the denominator. Um, here, um, as you can see in each of these, um, and then depending on which sum of squares, for instance, anxiety sum of squares is 4.08, um, and that's 6.6%, um, 9.2 divided by 62.29 for sleep disorders, and that matches up. So if you look through these, the calculations are um, not too difficult to go through. And that sums up what eta squared is. is. Um, going back to this, the uh, the sum of squares uh, between, and then sum of squares total. Um, now I wanted to take um, a brief moment to go back and uh, explain the theory behind effect size. When you look for significance, um, that doesn't tell you much. Um, it just tells you that um, it's less likely that what you're seeing is um, a, a due to random error. Uh, it doesn't tell you what the how how strong the relationship is. Um, the higher the sample size, uh, the higher um, the more likely that the p-value will be less than 0 0.05. However, the effect size will tell us if it's uh, significant in terms of uh, clinically significant or something that should be looked at. Uh, another uh, equation that I wanted to revisit, there was an error at the beginning um, when I was lecturing. Uh, this mean square, you don't divide this by sum of squares. What you do is take the sum of squares um, and then divided by the total. So here it would be 32.6 divided by 54.3, and that should give you the eta squared that you find. And so we went over um, the example at the bottom. So I hope uh, this gives you a good overview about um, eta squared and what reason and when to use it. Thank you for listening.